I think the days of saying evangelistic crusades are over, are over. And I'm so tired of hearing people say, well, that's not happening anymore. Sorry, but it just happened. The church has been called to preach the gospel, but by and large, I don't think we're doing a very good job of this. And we need to get on with it and realize that the secret weapons that God has given to the church are pray and preach. Pray for our nation, pray for a revival, and then go and preach the gospel. Since 1990, Harvest has hosted large-scale evangelistic outreaches throughout the United States and around the world. Close to 6 million people have attended, with over 450,000 making professions of faith in Christ. These Harvest Outreaches are designed for Christians to invite others to hear the life-changing message of the gospel in an environment that's not your typical church service. These engaging events are exciting, even fun, as local churches and communities are united and feature great music from top Christian artists with the sole purpose of lifting up praise and softening hearts for the main reason we're there, the Great Commission. I will continue to proclaim the gospel as long as God gives me breath. So we're having this conversation 10 years from now or 20 years or by God's grace, if I live that long, I'll still be proclaiming the gospel because it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. Harvest America 2016 has been deemed the largest one day live evangelistic event in American history. Over 82,000 packed into AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. In all 50 states and around the world, over 180,000 people attended a Harvest America remote site. Another 95,000 viewed the live webcast online. The cumulative participation was over 357,000 people. 6,300 walked forward at AT&T to make a public decision to follow Jesus Christ. Another 18,000 responded simultaneously at host sites, and another 1,000 said they prayed the sinner's prayer online, bringing the total professions of faith to over 25,000 men, women, boys, and girls. To God be all the glory.